both Arizona and Pennsylvania could very well split their tickets. Meaning, Pennsylvania Republican Senate candidate Mehmet Odds is outpacing Mastriano on the average by more than 10 points. He still trails, they say, Democrat John Fetterman by less than a single point. And in Arizona, despite a recent wave of momentum, Republican Senate candidate Blake Masters still trailing Democrat Mark Kelly by more than two points. And yet Kerry Lake is leading in the very same state. Arizona went blue in 2020, has two Democratic senators, but they don't seem to be turned off by Kerry Lake's more extreme views. On the night of the Arizona primary against a fellow Republican, she even declared victory before the results were in. I wanted to say, wow, we already have the final results, but we know how our election systems work and they don't work well. And then Lake has refused to commit to accepting the results in 2022 unless she wins. My she question won't. is, will you accept the results of your election in November? I'm going to win the election and I will accept that result. If you lose, will you accept that? I'm going to win the election and I will accept that result. But that type of talk hasn't been a deal breaker for Arizona voters, whereas Pennsylvanians seem to have been put off by Doug Mastriano's similar rhetoric. What gives? Is it the difference in their opponents? Is there a big difference between the two states' voters? Are the candidates more different than meets the eye? Here were some answers. Is Noelle Nickpour. She is a Republican strategist and party fundraiser. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Appreciate Thanks for it. having me, Dan. All right, so what's the answer? Well, I gotta, I gotta be honest. The way you broke it down is the way it's kind of happening. You've got really strange circumstances. You've got these two states, Arizona, Pennsylvania. You've got Kerry Lake, and Kerry Lake has one advantage that Hobbs doesn't have. Hobbs is a very weak candidate. You've heard her speak, you've heard her interview. You've got Kerry Lake, who is a known media personality. She's got the advantage of being, you know, having, being on a show, uh, being very rehearsed, and she is very poised, very articulate. She knows how to answer questions from the press and handle herself, so she's very strong. Plus, Hobbs didn't want to debate Carrie Lake when she won. You think that and matters that much? You think, I, I mean, people always like to say, oh, you know, she wouldn't go for the debate. <laughs> I, I don't know that that stuff even matters. I mean, for example, I don't think that John Fetterman should have agreed to the debate, right? I think, no. I think the answer should have been, you know what? I'm not going to do it. Oh, well, then, then he really, people, people say, oh, well, well, then he would have really suffered. Oh, I don't know that he would have really suffered. People would have said, ah. Oh, OK, yeah. he doesn't want to debate. Yeah, you're right on that. And I think a lot of Democrats <laughs> wish to heck that he would yeah, not have yeah. done that debate right. because that was Oz's to take. But but Mastriano, I mean, you know, people point out about Lake sort of her views, right? right? Sort of the election denialism. Right. She's very aggressive very. Um, on that issue. And even Donald Trump Absolutely. said that in giving advice to Blake <laughs> Masters. Yes. He said, you know, every time she's asked any question, she responds the 2020 election was stolen. Yeah. Um, is that what's working in Arizona? <laughs> I think Arizona is a different animal, and I do think that you're right on target with that. I think it's a different animal. Plus, you've got to look at some other issues that are resonating, not only the economy, uh, but also the, the border and immigration. Mm. And Carrie Lake is hitting hard on that. Uh, she's been quoted even in an article with News Nation uh, where she said that, you know, she's going to hammer in on, on drugs. And why are we going to, you know, do all the things that we need to do with the fentanyl crisis? And then we've got a loose border. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know. Is, is Mastriano a lost opportunity for Republicans? I mean, it really seems that when you look at the, the, the wave or the momentum right mm -hmm. now, all seems to be towards Republicans. And Mastriano is down four points from where he started I know. the general election. It's sort of, you know, <laughs> is it just that he's a particularly bad candidate? Too? Well, I think a lot of that has to do with just flip Arizona and look at Pennsylvania with the dynamics of Oz. I think with Fetterman and his performance, I think people feel safer with Oz. Um, but that same voter, if you can imagine this, would actually flip and they feel more confident with Shapiro that's running against Mastriano because they don't feel as con that they are, that he's representing the Commonwealth state as well as Shapiro does. So it sounds to me like you're saying the issues don't matter as much as presentation, <laughs> which is the reality of politics. Uh, it, it seems uh, like it's coming down except to on immigration. Because I think your, think your point on immigration in Arizona is a very good one. Absolutely. Um, Noel, thank you so much. Thanks for, for coming me. on the show. Really appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below 
to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.